Philip Duncan from Weatherwatch TV on YouTube with our final Pacific wide focused forecast for the season. We cover this mostly during the cyclone season of which there is still yes another month to go. The cyclone season in the southern hemisphere down here doesn't finish until the end of April. But as you can see there is not much going on at the moment. Darker shading shows low pressure of which there's almost none and the brighter yellows and whites show high pressure so there's a lot of high pressure on this map at the moment even up here in the northern hemisphere there's lots of high pressure one low pressure system way up there in the corner Hawaii for example pretty settled most of the tropical islands are settled so we're not going to be doing a weekly video if you look at the ratings last week they weren't very big um, so when there's nothing to talk about there's nothing to talk about lots of showers trade winds blowing along like this and so it's the usual easterly in many areas so what we're going to do from now on is on a monday not starting next week because it's easter but following on that we'll have a special south pacific video showing this map and a, a focus on the south pacific islands in our new zealand video on the monday at the end so we still will cover what we're about to show you right now in this video but we're not going to be covering the northern hemisphere it's a little too much work it's a little squeezed in but what we will do is when big storms do pop up and we can cover them we will so that's hurricanes and typhoons for example around the northern hemisphere but let's now get into this forecast for you and as you can see fair bit of low pressure uh, sorry weak low pressure in this zone just here otherwise mostly high pressure in control let's take a look and see what is coming up for the next seven days and we kick off here on tuesday and you can see plenty of showers but you'll notice no real changes in the seven days ahead there are just the usual showers lining up a lot more around fiji and tonga uh, but really that's about it elsewhere it is just the usual showers taking us right through to the tuesday of next week so you get the understanding now of why doing a, a weekly video is maybe a little bit hard but we will be still showing you these maps every week with our new zealand video on the monday so high pressure down around new zealand norfolk island staying pretty dry for you at the moment and the easterly winds are carrying on all the way into australia let's have a look at the rainfall so we'll animate this for you to make a bit more sense this is showing you the next seven days rainfall and you can really clearly see from this animation the line of rain that feeds along like that so tonga fiji those are the main areas in the 100 to 250 millimeter mark that's quite a bit samoa uh, french polynesia cook islands not much in the way of rain not much for Nui. and over here around vanuatu uh, sorry i'll have to move the sign next week that's a stupid place for it uh, but basically in this area here not a huge amount of rain just the usual thunderstorms new caledonia just like norfolk island very dry i know norfolk really does want some rain and you're down here in the sort of one to five millimeter mark new caledonia 10 to 15. so that is the forecast for the south pacific for the next week ahead and don't forget a couple weeks from now it'll be at the end of the monday video i think i've said that three times so you should remember it it's been a pleasure doing these videos for the pacific region we're not done with them it's just while it's quiet there's not much to talk about but when things get a bit more stormier and of course we'll be back again with the cyclone season when that kicks off later this year of course the cyclone season in the south pacific does go till april 30th so we'll do special videos if anything else does form over the next month that's all from me have a great day we'll see you later